Welcome back, fight fans. We're here for yet another episode of the Shoot the Shit podcast here on Combat Press. Uh, we're closing in on 80 shows. Uh, we have another great guest for you today. Um, she is a women's MMA fighter. She fights pro now. She was a decorated amateur, uh, and we're looking forward to more of her fights. Uh, she actually just fought recently. Glory Watson is here with us. Glory, how are you today? I am good. How are you doing? Very good. You look very bubbly. This should be an interesting one. I, I like just woke up i just woke up i accidentally fell asleep and i'm like oh my gosh what time is it must be, must be nice to wake up that late uh well i have already been up and trained and we're redoing our entire gym so i've been helping move things around all day i had about 20 minutes down like off time and i sat down and next thing i know i woke up all right well then we won't bust your balls too bad because it seems like you actually <laughs> did some stuff today so uh, i did you. Thank you for joining the show. We really appreciate having you on. So uh, uh, we'll just jump right into it. We're just going to talk about your career today. Uh, so, yeah. you know, uh, like I said, you had a pretty pretty impressive amateur career, uh, and then you turned pro, I believe, at the beginning of this year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, eight, March or April. Yeah, yeah right yeah. around there. Yeah, I knew it was early in the year, if, if not late last year, but I think it was, I think it was early this year. Uh, you took on Ariana Melendez, and again, you know, guys like myself who watch a lot of the uh, the women's amateur stuff, you know, that was a, a fight I had my eye on at least. Uh, you know, and unfortunately, you took a loss in that fight. So, can you just kind of reflect on that loss? What did you learn from that fight? Uh, so, looking back on that fight, it was obviously my first pro fight. I hadn't fought in a decent amount of time. Uh, everyone like makes jokes and laughs that I was like smiling the whole fight, but I was just so happy to be there. Like that's being back in my elements where I wanted to be. So it was amazing to be back in there and going up against Ariana, looking at our amateur careers, it was a pretty good matchup for both of us to be making our professional debut and it didn't end up the way that we wanted, but I learned a lot about the flow of my striking. I didn't really account for her throwing the blind punch and that's I got knocked backwards because I was on one leg and I actually did it in one of my kickboxing fights to the girl I fought so I'm very aware that it happens um, and she was doing things right and I did things wrong on the ground and she got the better of me. Absolutely. Now, um, you know, after that fight she was signed pretty quickly by Invicta. Do you think had you won that fight that might have been you instead? Um, it's kind of something that me and my team talked about a little bit. More than likely, Invicta had their eye on that for a potential fight. Um, but I don't know that it's moving up to Invicta is something that we would have done at that point anyway. Gotcha. So. Yeah, no, fair enough. Absolutely. Um, so now your most recent fight had a little bit more attention for reasons that we'll discuss in a second. Um, but you did, you did get a win in your follow-up. Uh, oh, well, you disappeared. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You still there? Yes. Uh, oh, there, there you go. go. All right, no worries. Uh, yes, I think sometimes if it, if it goes to whatever, it, it turns the screen off. We had that problem with somebody else a couple weeks ago. So oh, you okay. fought uh, Rebecca. I believe her last name is Brigman. Uh, she yeah. has a very interesting background. So any comment you want to make on her uh, her uh, career on the, uh, the, the silver screen, if we want to call it that? Um, so I have watched some of her fight footage, but I have not watched any of her other footage. I didn't know where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard she's dabbled in other areas, and if she's happy and she can feel good about it, more power to you, I guess. Yeah, interesting. Uh, I won't comment on if I uh, if I looked at that or not myself, but uh, it's definitely it was. Uh, I remember she was making her pro debut against Elise Reed, who is actually now in the UFC. Yep. And I didn't know anything about it. And then somebody on Twitter goes, "Isn't that that porn chick?" And I was like, uh, "I don't know." And then, like I just like like googled her name, and it's like ah, hardcore porn chick. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. We were all watching fights one time, and someone on the team was like, let's watch it. I'm like, guys, this is one thing the <laughs> team does not do together. We are not doing this together. Oh, that's funny. Now, uh, now, you know, in your fight, you did beat her, if I'm not mistaken. You did finish her. Um, I believe it was submission, correct? Yeah, rear naked choke. I think it was like 456 in the first round. Awesome. And so, congratulations on that. So comment on you. her as an opponent, and then also comment on your performance as well. Uh, so her as an opponent, it was she is very good at being a showman. 
she like she puts on a show like you can't downplay that at all she has this personality that she presents when she's fighting and it's really fun it's not something that i would particularly want to do but she does it great but afterwards and before like when the cameras aren't on and stuff she was amazing yeah. absolutely amazing she didn't we didn't say a bad word to each other we actually we talked before the fights we talked at weigh-ins i took her weigh-in pictures because no one else she didn't bring her team or anything with her so she's standing on the scale and i'm the one that took the picture and i'm just because she was absolutely amazing i do not have a bad thing to say about her um uh and in the fight as well she was great it was a really good opponent for me to go against her where she had such a dense kickboxing background that was really great there's actually she was hyping herself up before the fight and i heard her say you've done this 27 times i'm like that's a lot more than i've done this so it was it's really the experience gap was really big but i think it was a good match for both of us and i think it's yeah, really I, good I, I, either way. I don't think anybody really knows that she does have a kickboxing background and uh yeah i think i think the uh the other stuff over, overshadows the fact that she actually does have a decent amount of experience in combat sports yeah i think so too but like she is a she has done a lot with combat sports for quite a long time she didn't. She's new to MMA. She hasn't done a lot with MMA, but kickboxing wise, she has a very vast background. For sure. Now, in terms of your performance, what did you do well? And is there anything you think you needed to work on in response to that fight? Um. So, being the first round, the first round is usually that feeling out here. You're not really sure um, if she's going to be aggressive or if she's going to be backing up or how things are going to go. So, it's a lot of the feeling out techniques. Um, I feel like. For the first round, it was probably right where it needed to be. She was throwing a lot higher volume than I was, but I was landing more percentage than she was. So I think that balanced it out really nicely. Um, when I went to the cage, it was because I didn't feel like I was doing as well in the striking exchanges as I could have. So I wanted to take it somewhere else to see if that was where I was going to excel. And that ended up being the best option for me. Um, I haven't watched the fight with the commentary, but Coach said that the couple times the commentators said, like, it's over, and then Brigman moved at just the right time, and it happened a few times, so she really, she did great, and I don't, I am happy with my performance as well, so. It's a good awesome. fight. And yeah, and I, I did, I did not see the fight myself yet, I just saw the picture of the finish, so I saw um, less than a second but uh, it looked, it, it, you know, just on paper, it looked like it was probably an exciting fight. So awesome, good stuff. So um, what's next? When do you want to get back in the cage? So I'm not able to announce it 100% yet, but I have something set for December. Awesome. Um, now, is this with a, another regional promotion? Is this a bigger promotion? Or can you, I mean, can you at least give us a little niblet? Yes, it's still regional. Okay, so still, good. And I would still work my way up. Gotta have to do something to stand out before that the big show calls. Fair enough, but then again, there's a lot of Invicta fighters that did make their pro debuts with Invicta, so that's uh, true. So it's it's possible, uh, and I would assume we're talking Northeast and East Coast. Yes. All right, and that doesn't narrow it down, by the way, because there's a shitload of. I know, not at much. all. That's a lot. <laughs> I can't tell you how many fighters I've spoken to on this podcast in the Northeastern Regional, so. Uh, that's not surprising. So awesome. Well, really, really awesome to hear. Now this weekend we will, and I know there's one fight you won't be able to comment on. They're going to talk about two of them. We have UFC 268. Uh, it's going to be at Madison Square Garden. Um, you know, well, I'll make a comment on the main event, but the co-main event has the women's strawweight title on the line. You got Rose Namajunas uh, defending her title against Vele Zhang. Um, you know, again, these are two people that are in your uh, your ballpark in terms of the weight class. So, if you can comment on this fight, and do you have a prediction for it? Uh, so, this fight is something that I've watched for. I've always kept my eye on Rose. I really like Rose. I like her bravado. I like the way she fights. Um, and Weili Zhang is she. You got to give her. She's badass. Like she really is. She's tough. And I think that they, the fight that they put on has. The last two have been phenomenal, or the last one. Yeah. And watching Rose throughout my whole career and watching her grow is, I always will have a soft spot in my heart for Rose. So 
that's kind of the way that I want to go. Um, and based on their last fight, I think that Rose is probably going to pull it out. But Willie's been training hard, so we'll see. Yeah, it was just surprising the first fight because uh, Zhang is such a good kickboxer and it took Rose less than 90 seconds to just put her down with that head kick. And I think I, I was shocked, absolutely, even though I know Nami Yunus has a great striking background, but I just didn't see that happening that quickly with Zhang having as good of a striking background as she has. She is absolutely deadly with that lead leg and it was so fast. It yeah. was There was no tell on it at all. It was really fast. And in interviews, Rose has said that like, other women don't hit as hard as she does, so I think that that really played a huge part in it. Absolutely. Now, the main event, and I know you said you couldn't comment on this, so I'll keep it brief. You have the welterweight championship on the line. You have Kamara Usman, who is quickly becoming probably the most dominant welterweight champion, not named George St. Pierre, uh, taking on Colby Covington in a rematch. Uh, their first fight was actually pretty close. Uh, we, this one should be interesting as well. It's a night of rematches, what can I say? Uh, Usman, I think, has the athleticism edge. I think Covington has the striking edge. And I think the wrestling almost almost evens out. But er everything's really close. Um, but because I agreed with you on Nama Yunus, I don't want to see two champions retain. I will take Covington, although not confidently. I think Usman is that good. Um, but it should be a really good fight, and uh, really looking forward to that one. That's November 6th at Madison Square Garden on pay-per-view. So, Glory, uh, now is our time to say bye, but before we do so, I will give you the floor. You can use this time to shout anybody out, thank people, shout out your sponsors, whatever you got to do. Where can we find you? Okay, so my Instagram is Glory Watson MMA. Facebook is Glory Watson MMA. I'm not overly creative when it comes to that <laughs> those things, but it's easy to find. Um, people to thank. I obviously want to thank my team, uh, Young's MMA. I've trained with a couple other gyms here and there down in New Hampshire. I trained with Nostis MMA, which is run by Devin Powell, who used to be in the UFC. Um, and then uh, Famoso BJJ, which is in Rumford, Maine, which is basically the middle of nowhere. But the team there has been phenomenal to work with. And when it comes to sponsors, I have way too many for me to verbally list. So, is it possible for me to send you a list that you can post? Yeah, if you want to, just send, just shoot me a list on Facebook. Yeah, that's when perfect. I post when I post the video on Monday, I will put the list of sponsors on there for you. Yeah, that's great. I, I I can't list them all, and I have so many that have been absolutely amazing through all of this. Absolutely, fair enough, and that'll save me some film, even though this isn't film, it's digital. Uh, so, guys, right. I'm, <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm not going to give you my socials and stuff. If you want to go five or six episodes back when I stopped listing them, if you want to find it, you know where to find the show, the YouTube page, Combat Press, everywhere this show is simulcast at Apple Play, wherever. Uh, but the one announcement I will make, again, November 19th, uh, for my local Illinois fans, my coach Richard Abraham is putting on a Muay Thai show, his first promotional show in Lombard at Brower House. So if you want to, please go support local fighters, support local promoters, support Muay Thai. The sport needs to grow again. It's kind of a smaller sport, but my coach Richard Abraham is trying to bring back and make it a more popular sport. So again, that is November 19th at Lombard at the Brower House Maximus Promotions 1. Should be a lot of great fights there. So, Glory, again, thank you so much for giving us your time. I know I bugged you on Facebook a couple too many times, but that's just uh, the nature of the beast in this business. So, It's okay. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> so, for Glory Watson, I'm Riley Contact saying continue watching the fights, continue watching the show, and go fuck yourselves. Good night. <laughs>